overwhelming odds. It is a pretty gallic thing to okay. charge in with your last warband. I'm just trying to think if we can push them towards the... Uh, do you want to stay and watch this or leave early? No, don't just stay and watch it. Defeat him. Defeat imminent. Defeat imminent. Spin your way out of that one. Yeah. We did our best. <laughs> We're the heroic losers. Oh. Oh. You are defeated. Good try. Hold well on. Wow. In confusion. You seem to me, and we'll hear from our, our experts shortly, but it seemed to me you had everything laid out here. You seemed to have a half decent plan. Then what happened? We started off really well, I think, because we, mm. we, the, the plan with moving the cavalry up and taking out the, the two points either side seemed to work quite well. And maybe it was the, the, the middle that was the vulnerability. In trying to split them, we did leave ourselves light in the centre. And basically they managed to break through on that. And we couldn't withdraw quickly enough to actually continue to draw them on. We had problems in trying to move resources quickly and respond quickly in communication becomes a problem and that's even with the advantage of... So it's going to be a gamble. Yeah. You snorting with laughter throughout it, was, 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 was that a help? <laughs> You've got to retain a sense of humour at all times. You really seem to enjoy the bloodshed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't, because I never get involved in that side of things at all. <laughs> Steve, how do you think it went? Well, what about the generals? Did they command well? I think, yeah, I, mean, I think generally speaking that the plan was, was sound in terms of that we knew it, we knew it wanted to do. I think in terms of the, me the mechanics of moving people about, I think that's where we weren't quite as tied up as we could be. Let's see what our historians thought of what we did. Here I come laugh Eric and Adrian, and here they are to look you in the eye and tell you what they thought of your strategy. Gentlemen? The first thing I, I saw you guys do was sort out your own command structure, and it was coldly, brutally efficient. There was almost no visible conflict. The lieutenants did a lieutenant's job. The, uh, the, the man in command was Cliff. One of the generals did not function as a general and provided advice, situational awareness, and, and helped the general, uh, but was clearly reduced to a, a subordinate role. Yeah? You did not very often advance beyond the bird table here. Whereas Cliff spends almost every moment of this battle standing there at the rail, uh, looking over the shoulders of his subordinates, making sure that he can make decisions at, at key points. You set out, you were looking around, you were being very efficient, very well organized in how you tried to find out what the situation was. All of that, very, very professional. It looked good. You instantly saw that what you needed to do was, for instance, draw the Romans in, which was absolutely the right thing to do. Yes, they did steamroller over you, uh, but so it, it was, really it was well. the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, you saw that, that what you wanted to do was strip the Roman cavalry away from the Roman infantry, and you did it. And you lured the Roman cavalry into making a pointless attack against your, against your left. Well done, once again. Your concept of operations was well thought out. Uh, for, for the initial stages. It was a defeat that went perfectly to plan. <laughs> well, because the difficulty was, you, you didn't know the way Hannibal knew, that every single time you go up against these guys, they drive through you like a freight train. And Hannibal, took Hannibal a few tries to figure out that he had to plan for that. You guys didn't plan for that. They were huge, they were rumbling towards you, they steamrollered over you, and you didn't know what to do. You know, you were talking about, well, let's get around the flanks, that would be a good thing, all that sort of thing. But in the end, there's a hell of a lot of Roman infantry there, and they're going to keep on going and keep on pushing forward. You've got to do something. Somehow, you've got to stall it and then stop it. So what happened was, you went up against the biggest army that the Romans had ever put together to date, and they beat you fair and square. Mm. But that's okay, because Hannibal couldn't stop it either. Mm. Did Hannibal lose him? Well, let's have a look. These guys know what happened. Good question. Hannibal has been fighting against the Romans for a while. Hannibal knows that those guys, that huge mass coming thundering towards him is going to go through over and over again, no matter how badly it goes for the Romans, those heavy infantry always come through. So what Hannibal does is he builds a box. He builds a box for the Romans to come into. He puts his Gauls and his Spaniards out front and he pushes them forward. 
to get them engaged sooner to make sure they come rolling into that box. And that's a trap door. But the Romans, we're sitting, we're thinking we've got more legionaries than we've ever had before. Even in the defeats we've suffered, as Eric said, these guys have broken through somewhere. They've always given a really good account of them. We've got a narrow plane. We know our problem is that our cavalry keep losing. Because there are not very many of them and they're not that good. We've got a river on one side, we've got high ground over here. You can't do what you've done in the past and just trot around here whilst you keep the cavalry busy, envelop the whole thing. So we've got all of our legions, all of our allied troops in this great big block. It's a great big mass of men, the units much closer together than usual. It can go in one direction, that way, and that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cavalry here on the left, and I'm going to turn them against those Roman cavalry there, and make them go away. And, and let my guys form up. I've, got, I've yep. got use for those guys later. Meanwhile, those Roman heavy infantry are going to come into my box. If your cavalry are happy killing them or chasing them around over the landscape, doesn't matter. This lot, this massive phalanx of people here is going to win me the battle. So I've advanced these a little bit, see what's happening over here. These are the skirmishers. They don't get in, they don't destroy you, but they keep these people busy. And as long as my infantry have time to win, then it doesn't matter to me, you know, if I have rather less cavalry than I had to start off with, it won't make much difference. So I slam in here, right at the center. Completely unsurprising. It's exactly what the Romans always do. And they come steamrolling through, and they're squashed together, and they're in a big, huge mass. A big mass. Romans, as far as the eye can see, the third line squished into the second line into the first line, and I know this is going to happen. I've seen it all before. I let my guys fall back. Suddenly, they stop. They turn. They face the Romans. And here, remember those Libyans? Remember how well those Libyans held together? You saw those bikes. Libyans, bookends, right into both sides. Squash, start killing them. Slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. I should just explain that, that Eric is a senior lecturer in war studies at Sandhurst. <laughs> Watch all this. Well, we don't use the word slaughter very well. <laughs> now, Eric then does something frightfully fancy, or I'll probably do it for him because I don't think his arms are long enough. Yeah. Usually, your horsemen they see the enemy have gone and just disappear off into the sunset after them. But he doesn't. Hasdrubal, the commander, brings them round behind these Roman cavalry, the Allies. And they promptly realize being taken on two sides is not a good move, so they run away. These cavalry then stop a second time. The Numidians do what they're good at. They chase off the fugitives, but it then leaves these people to seal off the trap. So, that's what really happened, having seen that. Don't you wish you'd done it? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Though massively outnumbered, Hannibal annihilated the Romans at Cannae leaving 50,000 dead or dying on the field. He has humiliated the mighty Roman Republic once again and sealed his reputation as a military genius for all time. His legendary tactics at Cannae have inspired military commanders ever since, even after the First Gulf War. In many respects, you did very well, so congratulations. Unfortunately, throughout the program, you've been double parked, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Nice to see you. That was very good. It was excellent.